this is another animation demo but in this case we are doing the animation in SOLIDWORKS using the SOLIDWORKS animator but still controlling some of the aspects from MATLAB using CAD lab. What you see here is a MATLAB based handle graphics GUI that I created using guide and I'm going to control the SOLIDWORKS animation from this GUI. The first what I do is I open the model. In this case it's the assembly of this wrench. Now SOLIDWORKS animation is done in these tabs called motion studies. So in my handle graphics GUI I specify motion study 1 and I pick that motion study and you find that the animation is defined in SOLIDWORKS using key points and a bunch of motors and springs. Now from my MATLAB GUI I click on calculate and the SOLIDWORKS animator starts calculating the different uh, keyframes. Uh, essentially what this wrench is is a four bar mechanism with a variable constraint on one of the grounds. Now you'll see that once the animation is over uh, I have tight enough integration from MATLAB into SOLIDWORKS that I can actually use this uh, handle graphic slider to move the time bar and access information for every single animator uh, time frames. So I could essentially pick any time frame I like and you'll see that the time bar uh, on the keyframes and also on this plot will change as I change the handle graphics code. Now how much code did I have to write to do this? Well, so the, the main file itself is all generated by guide. So none of this I had to write. All I had to do was fill up these one-liners over here. Now these are essentially calling a MATLAB function which I wrote uh, and you'll find that all of these open model move the time frame when I clicked on the slider uh, initialize it change the tab from uh, model to motion study click on the calculate button all these things are tiny functions open doc is simply getting the SOLIDWORKS app and opening the document uh, move time frame is just saying set time and getting this number from the uh, handle graphics uh, slider. So essentially in a few lines of code you can come up with pretty um, tight integration between MATLAB and SOLIDWORKS using CAD Lab. That's the end of this presentation.